Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. Um, I'm here to do the mini love reading for the Libra for May of 2016. I am still coughing and hacking with these allergies, guys, and the air. If it's kind of dry, it does this, so <clears throat> please excuse me. I'm going to eventually open up the window because it rained let in some moisture so um libra i'm going to be doing a three card spread for you for your mini reading um give me a second oh goodness so we're gonna look at the past the present and then the future which is kind of the outcome so for libra for april i'm sorry for may 2016 <clears throat> first card we're going to look at is the past energies and events that still affect you how your past either holds you back and what you need to take <clears throat> what lessons you need to take from the past um present and um, <clears throat> what opportunities and challenges and then the future which is the outcome of the situation um, and also what you are wanting because what you want is actually what is manifesting <clears throat> alright so What you got for your uh, past position Libra and what this shows is that you were in direct competition um, in your love life so there was some love interests that you were in competition with and you know there was a lot of um, conflict <clears throat> behind it and um, so the five of wands points to more so a balance with you and your partner and then what makes it imbalanced is the three extra energies and only three of the women are holding wands no four of them are holding wands and then he has one of them And <clears throat> so what this is, is this, these are, uh, this is alchemy. Um, turning negative into positive. So if you got the five of wands in the past, Libra, um, there's a reason why you Libras got this card that showed up in the past. I hate when my throat is scratchy. Um, you've got you've had some anxiety in the past and so you've had some battles and they've led you to be bold in character now this is a valuable trait but only in moderation okay so whenever you face adversity you just want to remember that you want to have tact and it may feel as though your progress is too far delayed by the obstacles in your past so you um, in the past felt really delayed and it seems like it's still affecting you okay so this is holding you back from growth um, <clears throat> with the conflict and the anxiety is definitely something that I would say you're manifesting um, for yourself I would say what you need to take from the past and use to your advantage today is basically um, to just make sure that you handle adversity and that you remain tactful 
um, and that you just you don't want to make it seem like you are better than anybody because this is what will cause a struggle So you can definitely see the struggle um, that is happening here. Um, for the present, you got the death card. So it, to me, it looks like, <clears throat> you know, with the five of wands showing up, Libra, is that there was some sort of rite of passage, some sort of uh, major event that's happening in your life right now. Um, for some of you Libras, it's going to be the end of a relationship. Um, something that no longer suits you that you're going to leave behind. Um, it could also mean that some of you Libras may be leaving behind a situation that no longer suits you. But whatever it is, it's it's about transformation and rebirth. So you're going through a rebirth process right now. Okay, is basically what this um, death card means. And, and <clears throat> for it to show up in the present, um, this is exactly what's going on for you right now in this moment. Um, especially during the month of May. Um, and this is going to be a challenge for you because... There's going to be some, some lessons that are going to need to be learned <clears throat> um, during that process or doing, during this process. So this is a major life event um, to where I feel like things that you did in the past definitely are going to have a lot to do with your future card. Um, and so I do see a positive outcome for you, Libra. You do have the initiated wand, so I do see you um, taking your... Um, your integrity to the next level okay and this is gonna now the novice is equal to um, the night so I do see some messages coming I do see in May um, that you're gonna be getting some some messages um pertaining to love and they're going to be positive they're likely to be positive so whatever this change is that you're going to go through it's going to manifest this growth in you to where um, as far as like your um, your your morals and values how you perceive yourself okay you're going to advance yourself to the next level and you're going to grow as a person i'm definitely seeing that and um so if you're single um you just need to you just need to um if you're single this is a direct indication that someone is coming into your life because this is a literal um person court cards usually is um a literal person um also i do see travel for some of you, um, some of you, I think you're going to meet somebody while you're traveling. And um, so I'd say that this could this could end up being a positive outcome for you, for a lot of you <clears throat> Libras out there. Um, like I said, since the night is a messenger, this is a literal person that is going to send you um, love messages and um, also just to let you know you're going to have new challenges approaching and you're going to I can see a lot of you Libras making a haste, hasty decision um, probably even doing some traveling it may, it may or may not have been your choice but if overcome the challenges will lead you to happiness and a fulfilling life so <coughs> It looks like there is going to be a challenge coming up for a lot of you Libras in May. It may not resonate for all of you, um, but I do see uh, within this death card, it is going to create um, this change. Um, there is going to be a decision that you're going to make 
um, you know, it's the energy is going to be very ambitious. Um, and, and they do suggest something positive is going to come out. <clears throat> so I would say with this one, just um, follow your heart because um, even though it's going to be a hasty decision that you make, um, <clears throat> to <clears throat> I see a change of location, maybe a change of house, um, maybe a change of the city that you're in is definitely what I'm seeing. Um, sometimes it can be a permanent relocation or either a long journey <clears throat> if it were to come up in the positive, but for it to come up in the future, it definitely does um, indicate a journey. Okay, Libra, um, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you want a personal reading, definitely contact me on my website, and I will see you guys for your full reading for May. Have a great day. Bye.